one Val here. I'm in the kitchen and we're going to, I'm going to start cooking dinner. But I want to also prepare a meal for tomorrow because uh, it takes me a while to get home. So I like to, you know, I'm, I'm now starting to try to put together some meals so that things are better prepared when we get home. It doesn't take so long to cook dinner. So I'm going to put together a slow cooker dinner and going to put it in the slow cooker but I'm going to refrigerate the pot overnight and then just put it in the the unit in the morning so all I got to do is just turn it on and go and and I'll be ready to go so I I'm going to do something with beef so I got this um sirloin strip steak I'm going to be cutting it up into pieces going to throw in some onion celery uh some little cherry tomatoes I have beef broth and peas and carrots and corn and tomorrow when I get home I'm going to cook a little bit of rice and put some rice in it too I'm going to get some seasonings I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce on the beef and let me see what I have over in the spice rack and see how we can uh, kick it up a little so come on along and do some cooking with me we'll get ready to uh fix our prepare our dinner for tomorrow night all right i'll be right back all right let me get my pot over here i'm going to be throwing everything into this crock pot i am going to spray it with a little bit of uh canola canola oil so uh, it doesn't stick just spray that up a little bit and we'll get started all right I'm gonna put this aside let's see where am I gonna put this I'll put this over here all right so I'm gonna get my celery I have celery hearts in the middle of the celery is the the best part for um, when it comes to cooking, uh, to using it for cooking. Wash this up a little. So do y'all do slow cooker meals? Make them ahead so that you don't have to cook when you get home? Or do you have another way to prepare your meals ahead of time? Or do y'all have a lot of time to cook? I don't have a lot of time to cook. Because by the time I get home, a lot of times it's 6 o'clock at night. It doesn't leave a whole lot of time for cooking. Quarter to six now, but it's a weekend. So should cook up nicely. I'm going to bring my pot down in the sink here. I'm going to put my celery in the pot. I take the pieces I cut off it and throw that in my trash can over here. I cut a little bit of onion up. I'm just going to take a, a piece off it. here I'll wash 
wash it over here since I put my pot in the sink. I like to wash it. Uh, celery but uh, I mean I like onions but Steve is not a big fan um, if I cut them up and they cook all day they should uh, they should be uh, pretty much uh, that you know uh, cooked up so that he won't have big chunks of onion in his food okay onion in the pot I want to throw some tomatoes in just to give it a little bit of uh, citrus in there. Citrus and tomato. Give it a little kick. I'm going to rinse these off. I'll just cut them in four. Tomato. I'm just doing some uh, simple cooking. There's nothing complicated about any of this. I'm pretty much about keeping keeping it simple, keeping it as quick as possible. If I want a meal that's going to take a lot of time, that's fine too. But most of the time, it's um, I'm limited in the time I have cooked. To cook so I just try to keep it as simple as possible this is pretty lean I don't have a lot of fat in there so this should cook up okay um, all these pieces seem pretty good so I'm just gonna put it in small chunks it's not really anything to trim off it it's it's pretty trimmed up down a little too. I'm sure. Throw a little Worcestershire sauce on that. I have French's, but it doesn't matter. They're all about the same. All right, get that worked in there pretty good. I love the smell of Worcestershire. All right. I have some Grillmate Texas Smokehouse Beef Rub, which I'm going to put some of this on there. And this has chili pepper, oregano, cumin, salt, sugar, garlic, onion, paprika, sunflower oil, corn maltoxinate or something, and natural flavors, including smoke. So 
just gonna coat my beef good with that. Get that nice and rubbed in there. Okay, and I have some parsley too, but I'm gonna put parsley in there too. All right, I'm throwing my meat in the pot. Get all this goodness in there with it. All right, and I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so the only thing left to do here is to throw some corn in there. Should we put the whole pack? Yeah, why not? And some peas and carrots. Oops, making a mess. All right, so what I'm gonna do is Oh, it looks like vegetables now, but I'm going to put this in the refrigerator with the cover on it. And I'll bring it out in the morning. In the morning, I'm going to add my beef broth. Oh my goodness, I'm messing up here. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. And, oh, and then I'm going to put it on low and cook it all day while I'm at work. And when we get home... Steve and I, we, I'm going to cook a little bit of rice and throw that in with it. And we'll give this a test and see how this slow cooker meal turns out. So, I didn't get this off a recipe anywhere. I'm sure it's not the pers first person that's made some kind of beef soup. But, uh, just showing you how I'm doing it and bringing you along. So, I want to thank y'all for watching me get this prepped up. We'll come back tomorrow when I'm going to get it set up for this in the morning and then we'll come back and give it a taste test uh tomorrow night good morning everyone um my hair is wet i just got out of the shower getting ready for work but let's go ahead and finish this slow cooker meal that we got started last night so we can have that ready when we get home from work tonight let's go get the pot all right let me show you what we got all right fresh out of the refrigerator I'm going to grab a spoon. Remember we had that meat marinating all night in the uh, Worcestershire sauce. Alright, got everything ready to go in there. I got a packet of the broth here. The beef um, broth. This is unsalted. I don't like a lot of salt in my food. Pour that in see how that goes I'm not really making a soup Steve is not a big soup person but um, it's it's I'm gonna add rice to it tonight and just make it more of like a, a stew kind of I guess instead of a soup have some parsley flakes I'm gonna add a little parsley flakes uh, for taste. All right. That looks pretty good. I may add just a little bit of water um, just to, so I don't want the water, the broth to cook out of it. I don't think that it will, but I'm going to add just a little bit of water to bring the water level up. There we go. Okay, let me get my slow cooker. This island that I'm working on has 
electrical outlets on both sides of it so I can leave this here and plug it into the outlet right beside it here and we're gonna plug it in we're gonna put it on low which it already is on low and we're gonna cook it all day so we'll be back this afternoon to add the rice and give it a taste test so have a good day and we'll be back home from work Steve beat me home today so he made the rice um, this I'm going to turn this off. It's nice and hot. Everything smells wonderful. Looks good. I used, Steve used two cups of rice. So I'm going to start putting that in there. I think we're going to put it all in there. Let's see how that looks. Actually looks pretty good. Alright, what do y'all think there? I think it looks pretty good. I get a ladle. Dishes. I'm gonna get a some for Steve. Look at that goodness there. Mm. I have cut this off. Just gonna leave that on there and let it, I think I'm gonna leave it there, let it cool off a little bit. Let's go over here and give this a taste. Steve doesn't trust my cooking. He's adding salt and pepper. She's, she's getting mad at me for doing that. <laughs> No, I'm not. I added salt and pepper to mine too, but not that much. So what do we call this, dear? Vegetable soup? Yeah, close. Beef. Beef, beef vegetable. vegetable. Beef, beef vegetable soup? Yeah. Well, the beef is done very nicely. Tender? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need more... Uh, Salt though. Are you? Is it really? Well, the the broth didn't have salt in it because I don't like mine really <laughs> salty. So you're welcome to add more salt to yours. I just. That's good. All right. All right. You heard it from Steve. It's Steve approved. Thank you all for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye now.